Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. So, in our hands this video, we do have Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Weekly Tower Reading August 12th to August 18th. And uh, bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the tower cards and uh, we're going to jump straight away into it. I think that this is good enough and uh, so the first card which um, <clears throat> divulges the topic uh, of your week that is going to be the ten of pentacles the second card here represents the challenges that you need to face Leo and uh, that will be the hermit so now we do have some sort of a, a, a week and a situation where you can be how do I say it well you, when you can actually make a good um, kind of like an initiation or an investment or something of sort and yet you are going to feel like there is something sketchy in it all right and uh, these two cards are pointing that there is all right but in the same time you cannot you you can excuse me um spot the catch in in, in all that the third card it is the uh positive aspect of the week and that is going to be the seven of cups <clears throat> which pretty strongly correlates with the first couple of cards, by the way. And then the last one here, which is the Guidance, we do have the Emperor. So um, to me, what these cards here are pointing is, Leo, it's uh, while you do um, have this week as a week of a, uh, of a good flow in a sense of that uh, the week is not going to be without any kind of an opportunities, you know, and uh, the week itself is going to present you with an options for growth, options of, of independence as well. You can spend a lot of time with people that are offering you warmth and all these kinds of stuff. The uh, These tarot cards are urging you not to overkill, okay? Uh, what kind of example I can give you, um, it's, uh, let's say you want to buy a car and you have a certain criteria that you need to fit in, but you do have uh, money at your disposal, right? So you may make a, an overkill with your purchase to buy something much more expensive that has perks and traits and all these kind of stuff that you're simply never going to use, okay? So it's very important here to have some sort of a, a, a balance in between your, uh, your necessities and what you can do with the means that you are possessing in order to fulfill those necessities. So that's uh, let's uh, the let's run the cards one more time. By the way, before we jump into divulging the uh, into scrutinizing, excuse me, the reading here, the first one, which is the topic that is going to be the ten of uh, pentacles, followed by the uh, hermit card, which stands for the challenges. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of the seven of cups, and then the last one here is going to be the emperor, which is the guidance. So Ten of Pentacles, it's a, a very uh, productive and positive card. It pretty much it does display one sitting on a, um, I would say on a, 
are wealth but wealth it's not only money guys wealth is the result of your struggle it's the result of your uh, of your drive and all these kind of stuff so the ten of pentacles here points that you can take advantage of the means and the leverage that you do have from previous endeavors you know for example you made a favor to your boss into your career well now you can uh, take that favor back what i mean is that you can ask them to do your favor here just make sure that it is not in an overkill the ten of pentacles <clears throat> does represent this uh, this comfortability one is going to be surrounded with throughout the week having all the necessary means like i said to face the circumstances and the situations that are coming throughout the week not all uh, <clears throat> and <clears throat> on top of it uh, it looks like that you will also have some sort of a um, a personal independence i would say personal independence in the sense of that you ain't gonna feel like you're attached into something that you're obliged to play in certain rules you know or that you have to make a decision in favor of a, a thing that you are not finding it very rational okay so this week you have you you are holding on the the um the wheel of your ship and wherever you direct that ship it is where the ship goes okay and on a more practical level the ten of pentacles also it's it's related to trust in a sense of that you know um, uh, some people from your past that you have broke up a relationship with it may come and try to um, to have another chance to have another goal or in other words to prove you that they have corrected themselves the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, <clears throat> King of Cups. So the formation, it is a, a passive friend. And as a passive friend, the King of Cups, it's a very, to the Ten of Pentacles, it's a very professional person. And I mean that you need to be a professional person, meaning that even though you may have all the resources on the world, in the world, that doesn't mean that you will have to waste them, right? Whatever decision you are to make throughout the week, how you are to approach your marriage, your career, you know, a project into, uh, into your environment, uh, this needs to be made in a very clever fashion, in a very, uh, tactical manner if i may express it that way every decision needs to be well balanced on top of that <clears throat> if we are going with the narrative here of someone that comes back into your life it doesn't have to be an ex-girlfriend or a boyfriend you know it could be an ex-friend it could be an ex uh, an ex partner and etc etc well these two cards here are a sign that this person have and always had as a matter of fact a um uh, and then kind of deep emotions towards you and and again they don't have to be love or anything like that you know they could be just a, a friendship attachment or something like this but the thing is that this person if that's the case with you it's uh, more than willing to help it's just they they are feeling compelled to do it to help you to lend you a helping hand which with these two cards there is no need for you to decline to be honest or to give you an, an a very tempting proposition or an an offer so that leads us to the challenges here and we do have the hermit so um it's easy you want to uh, be um, winded away or rather like to be carried away when one has so much resources on their disposal and once again that could be money it could be um activities it could be as well health and all these kind of stuff guys it doesn't have to be only constrained constrained into a uh, uh, how can i place it into monetary values all right so uh, when my point here is that it is easy one when has so much resources on their disposal to be carried away and therefore to perform the overkill. So what is going to be the challenge here to intelligently make your decisions with a lot of wisdom, with a lot of, uh, to, uh, I don't know how to say it, but let's say a tactitional sense of emergency. All right. Like, um, like these billionaires for example you know what i what i found out in life leo it is that the more rich one person is the more that person values the money for example it is much more common that people who are um living month to month on a regular salary salary to tip somebody 
in the cafeteria or something than a, a rich person. It is because, you know, the rich person, they know how they have saved all those money, you know, and they value the money. So the, the point here is, is that you need to value your resources, even though you have abundance of them. And uh, by doing so, the hermit has this property of allowing you to approach the manner or your circumstances either into your marriage or either into your career from a, a very uh, safe angle, I would say. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Swords formation. It is a, a passive enemies. And uh, with this combination here, should you overcome the challenges of the Hermit, mean being, uh, I don't question your intelligence, but like I said, it's easy one to be carried away. So if you kind of like stay objective and rely to your intelligence rather than to a brute force, okay? Uh, then uh, the whole endeavor here is going to be completely deprived of any risk whatsoever. Now that I think of this is another example that I'm going to give you, let's say that we are in the medieval age and you are to conquer a, a castle, all right? And in the castle, there is a 10,000 defenders and you have an army of Tw uh, of 200,000, all right? But the castle have a very strong defensive um utilities. So what you can do, you can either be clever and bribe the guards, all right, and win the battle with minimum losses, or because you do have so many manpower as a resource to waste, you can throw everything in and have, let's say, 150,000 losses, but eventually conquer the castle. So it's all about that, guys, being clever, being very tactitional, being, being very, uh, uh, I don't want to say surreptitious, but more like a, um, you know, well, the word is clever. No, there is another word, but I'm, I am I cannot find it right now, what I'm trying to say here. So I hope that you get what I, uh, what I mean in, the, in this case. And then we go to the next one, which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week, and that is the Seven of Cups. Now, the whole thing that, is, uh, that the week is going to present you will um, evoke a, a remnant from your past. Okay, remnants which are going to speak for a huge disappointment that you had to undergo as an ordeal back in the days. And that will be a huge wake up call, I would say. Now, you are going to recognize the situation, although different, it has similar circumstances. And because it has similar circumstances, you will be able to ground yourself exactly in the points where no disappointment is awaiting you whatsoever right so pretty much uh the seven of cups here speaks for your previous experience right for your uh for your lesson that you have learned and um, as such it is very unlikely that even though at the start of the week you may be carried away with the abundance of resources and power you are going to very quickly recognize that, like I said, you may lose more than you actually know. Although it's not going to deplete all of your resources, it's complete waste of means. The accompanied card here is going to be the King of uh, Wands formation. It is a uh, passive enemies. Very peculiar, to be honest, because with the King of Wands here, it does speak for a kind of like ambition. And it shows that your um, common sense is going to overcome the blindness of that ambition puts on. It's more like a uh, being blinded by aggression, being blinded by, 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 by a sense of revenge, for example, or by a sense of, uh, of personal dignity, like uh, to prove yourself no matter what. So this blindness that usually overcomes people, for example, someone loses a uh, very treasured thing in their life, God forbid, let's say a child, where well, one is consumed with, uh, with the thoughts of revenge to the one who did this to them, all right? But this, these things usually comes with a price. Some people are willing to pay it, some doesn't, 
but at the very initial stage no one thinks about the price well guess what you are going to think about it something is gonna make you think about it so with these two cards here Leo it does look like that they are gonna help you additionally to overcome the uh, challenges throughout the week that is a rare case to be honest because uh, usually what's what is the challenge and what helps you they act in different levels all right what what helps you usually does not help you to overcome the challenge challenge because it's um, the challenge is meant for you to struggle so you can learn a specific lesson but in this case it does look like that the lesson have been learned very well it is it is just the the, the challenge itself is are you going to recognize that the, the, the situation is similar or you're gonna ignore it well you're gonna recognize it you're going to acknowledge it but or recognize it but you may not acknowledge it all right so those who acknowledge that the situation is similar and you have to act in a different manner in a sense of what you have learned as an experience back of the days is going to prove itself very very beneficial and so that leads us to the last card leo which is the um the emperor so what the emperor is all about well the emperor is all about structure it's all about reliability it's all about a um consistency as well you know and organization so that is your guidance here guys be organized you know be consistent try to maintain your control because being carried away is anything but maintaining a control right the emperor may have a lot of resources on their disposal but if the emperor wastes their resources they're not going to be an emperor for a long time so for that reason you need to uh, recognize as well here as we do have a throne you know as a um, as a symbol in the card the throne it's a symbol of um, uh, how how do you say it of authority yes and also of the responsibilities which are sitting behind the, the authority all right so you do have the authority which is provided to you by the means that you are going to possess throughout the week but you also are bearing the responsibility for all those means and you need to acknowledge this acknowledging that is going to allow you to maintain better control over to show yourself as a very reliable and consistent person who is pushing uh, in a very efficient manner toward one goal and that itself is going to make your every day's ups and downs much more bearable and as a bonus or as a bonus you will also have a lot of time a lot of time to enjoy yourself with peripheral things the accompanied card here it is the three of swords and now i have no doubt whatsoever that we're talking about a um repeatance of a past situation to a certain extent well to a, a big extent it may not be as a doppelganger all right but it's pretty damn similar and the tree of swords here uh, points that you need to simply swallow your pride revenge should not be a drive and as well you pray much when you uh, recognize the situation this week you will have to um, you you you, ha you should have been healed already and should not make your decision based on bias uh, intentions all right it's a, it's as simple as that so that being said guys it's a pretty broad reading uh, to be honest it could relate to uh, anything in your life to me it uh, it looks like more as a um, career endeavor really it, it looks like more as a, uh, a a thing which has a very substantial value in your life most likely like i said related to your career but it could as well be related to your relationship also but anyway uh that was your weekly tarot reading august 12th to august uh, 18 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're gonna see each other around until then bye